So, let's just get started. I'm going to stitch this one first. I'm taking my thread. I'm using the thread as is. Oh, I'm actually, I already have a bit of thread here. I'm going to do a few knots in one side of the thread and on the other side I'm going to thread my needle. Almost. Okay. So you're taking your thread through the fabric on the top of this flower and reach for the middle. Now I'm going from right on the right side of the stitch I just made over it to the left side of the stitch I made. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite way from left to right and you just keep going like that to fill the shape from left to right. Now I'm doing right to left. And now left to right. You keep going all the way down. as you stitch through the outline, I mean like this. Now I'm not going to go over here. I'm going to keep doing this outline. It doesn't really matter where you go, when your end point is. It just needs to be to the other side of the middle center. It's not too slow for you. I have lots of video tutorials where I fast forward once I explain the the, the stitch. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to talk and stitch as well. Um, so let me know if you like this uh, slow videos or do you prefer the faster ones? I'm not sure, I, I guess everyone has different ways he likes to learn. So every once in a while I'm doing a different kind of video. Okay, we're almost done. What I'm going to do now is to fill the little gaps I have with just like second stitch. Just fill it, but I um, am trying to keep doing um, the opposite side thing. I do. I will not go here. I'll go over here to give it the same texture I've been doing so far. bit more so we wouldn't see the gray sketch beneath this fabric
using three or two, whatever you want, three or two strings. If you don't know how to split the thread, I have a video about it. You can look for it in the description or in the channel. Just one more because this thread is thinner than the first one I used. Okay, and now I'm just going to do a back stitch. It's one of the easiest stitch, stitches, sorry. Starting from the top here and we're going forward one step. I'm doing the stitches very close to each other and very short. And now we're going to take a step ahead and go down back to where our last stitches ended. Again, a step ahead and going back to where our last stitch ended. It's very easy. you another way to stitch the stem. You can see it already here and here. I'm going all the way down trying to keep the same uh, the same length for all of them. stitch going back forward eh. going back and now we're going to do the same thing just a little knot maybe two or three to really secure it you don't want it to untangle another one great Let's do this flower. It's very cute and I love this color. I'm using the thread as is, which means six, six strands or six strings thread, whatever. Each petal on its own. 
starting at the top and I'm going all the way down okay now I'm going to use this end point for all the stitches but the start point will move in this arch at the top of the shape so I'm going from the right to the stitch I made and to the same ending point I'm going now to the left of the first line just to make it symmetrical and not use and not lose <laughs> sorry and not lose the shape and the same exit point let's do two more stitches just to give it a really nice shape and one more here nice okay I'm gonna do all of them for you so you can really see where I'm starting and ending here because it's hard to stitch all of these flowers together because I want all of them to have the same ending point but you can't use the same ending point for all the petals so for the first one I use this as the ending point and now I'm going to use this spot as the ending point it's very close but it's not the same one So I'm doing about five to seven, I would say, stitches for each petal. This is a smaller flower than this, for example, so I might have used more over there. But the fact that the thread is thick, it's very helpful. And I like how rich it looks. beginner you can use the thread as is if you want for all of the elements but you can also try and split the thread and experience with different textures you can see that as I'm going forward it's getting harder to find a spot for all the stitches to go down from because it's getting very close to one another but it's okay for example I did here three and here I did five so I think three is enough here looks good and this will be my last one
can see it creates a very interesting line it's not it doesn't really look like the back stitch which is very straight and very um, I don't know kind of a regular stitch I think this one is a little bit more interesting and very good for flowers and also it's fun to try new stitches so there you have it so we're going to stitch this kind of flower I have it here in two different colors I already have my thread it's got three strings and I'm going to use lots of French knots some people are scared of French knots but if you practice just a little bit it will be just fine it's not that hard and I have a specific video very slowly that shows uh, very slowly <laughs> and I have a specific video that shows very slowly all the steps but I'm going to have to do a few here right now so first you pop up your thread your needle through the other side okay now I'm going to use I'm right-handed so I'm going to use my left hand uh, and pull a little bit of attention here and now I'm going to twist two or three times let's do a third time and you need your exit, exit point to be very close to where you started, but not the same one. If you'll do the same one, it will be very sad because everything will untangled and that's very disappointing. So very close, but not the same one. You keep tension just a little bit and you just pull everything. I'm using here um, a needle, it, it's a little bit thicker at the end which makes it easier to thread the needle, but I might change to a thinner, wait a second, where is it? Oh, it's here. <laughs> I'm going to change my needle to a thinner one. So you can see the difference. It's longer. Oh, I don't think you can see it yet. Oh, okay. It's longer, but the hole is look mines aren't perfect either but when you do so many together it doesn't have to be perfect the look of all the French knots together is really what you want and it looks really good either way let's do another one one two three you can use a thicker thread with the six strands, but I find the French knots to be too big, I have to say. So I switch to three strings. And you can either fill this shape from the outline, like first do French knots in the outline and then fill the inside or just go from top to bottom or something like that it doesn't matter it just needs to look um, free and alive and fun You can see 
see that I'm holding the tension, but don't hold too hard. Don't pull it too hard. And you can also let go once you like halfway through pulling your thread. Okay, this could take a while, so I'm gonna go off camera now and come back when I'm, once I'm done. But I'm leaving the link to the full video instruction in the description. And I'll see you guys in a bit. don't have any spot that it's a little bit dark or don't like it to look like it's missing okay now we're going to do a little knot at the back after we've done all our French knots and so I'm doing the same stitch I did before I'm gonna check if it's had if it has an okay this is why you need to do a few a few stitches. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to check how what's the name of this stitch. I think it's maybe a stamp stitch, I'm not sure, but we're doing a first stitch just like a regular one. And then we're going from the right side of the last stitch, about in the middle of it, and keep going forward on the same line. Again, to the right of the stitch, and going forward. I'm stitching now with two strings of the thread. to add another one here because it made a little gap and it looks weird so I added another stitch okay so now I'm going to do the leaves I'm using CS three strings thread and I'm doing three stitches for each I'm gonna go really close to my first stitch where I started it and then back to the same spot here. I'm going to use the same ending spot but not the same starting spot. It's going to be very close. So 
and it should be very 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 close I got this one let's come back to it okay This way it looks a little bit more natural and a little bit more fun. It's a quick way to look it to make it look really rich. You can also just do backstitch for everything. Maybe even use six strings thread like the thread as is. You can try both options, see what you, which one you like most. But I think this stitch is not that hard. It's kind of a satin stitch because it looks like I'm feeling a shape. Okay, I'm running out of thread, so I'm going to stop here. Just have a few knots. Then I'll take my new thread and just keep going. This is two strings and I wanted three, so I'm going to add one more. to do here 
okay it's time to finish this beautiful art we only have this plan to do and then to fill this little shape so I'm going to do lazy daisy here I'm using six strings thread because I want it to be very thick and kind of messy like here so you're going up and then back down almost from the same place but not the same spot you leave a little hoop a loop here and then we're gonna go from the top of the shape go inside the loop we created ah, almost lost it <laughs> not too, too hard now we're going to pull it up because it's a unique technique and I, I think it's fun to make and it also fill the shape quickly which is also very nice every time it does remind of the chain stitch if you'll do kind of the same stitches in a row you'll get the chain stitch and I have it in a different video tutorial I like doing this stitch along videos and I hope you do too let me know in the comments and if you want it a little bit more speedy then I will appreciate if you can mention it if you can see some of my stitches are going over different stitches that I've already made and that's okay I think it's nice and to have like a two dimension uh, feel to it you can also see it here like this flower is over this flower and over this flower we have some carrots outside and you can see you can hear them I can see them <laughs> When I get to the uh, bottom part, it gets very um, close to one another, so I'll start to only one side of the leaves. Okay. I also did it in the first, um, the first one here. You can see from here. So I'm almost done. I'm just going to add a few back stitches here. I decided to just keep going with the thread as is. Okay, 
we're going to make the last shape so this will be our last stitch and I'm just going to use satin stitch going from one side to the other just filling the shape I'm going from right to left you can also go from left to right doesn't matter and if you want you can add later some uh, back stitch around it but I'm, I think I'm going to just leave it like this because it looks like like a rope or something and that's kind of cute like it's holding all the flowers together thank you so much for watching the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel and get updates on all the videos that are coming up soon and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video bye